So I'm gonna start climbing Watkins as soon as it goes into the shade, which is about 4 p.m. I go up with just my harness, two daisy chains, six or seven cams, maybe like a sling, and like that's it. No rope. The reason that he can cover that much ground so fast is because he's free soloing the vast majority of these walls. Ideally, I would just free solo all three walls, except that they're too hard. So when I get to the hard parts, you know, I pull on gear if I need to, or I step on bolts, or, you know, do whatever it takes to, like, get up it. It's not free climbing, it's not egg climbing, it's by any means climbing. The first thousand feet of Watkins is mostly fairly easy crack climbing, 5'10 lie backing, and so I can just kind of cruise up that. But then about halfway up, it starts getting a little thinner, a little more technical, and then it all starts going downhill. <laughs> I climb up into this thin little arch, and that's when I start going into the full improvised style. Just make myself a little spider's web worth of like small gear and clipping it all together. And, and since I don't have a rope on me, I, I just have to place gear and clip my daisies into it. And then I clip some fixed pin, and I'm all weighting it kind of gingerly, because the gear doesn't look great, but you know, it's better than nothing, obviously. And then eventually you get into bolts. And then the bolts, you know, I mean, you feel safe and you're happy again, except that the bolts are too far apart just to clip one to the other. So I had to like reset so I could reach my daisy, unclip it. And then I'm like, okay, all of a sudden I'm free soloing again. And you're free soloing looking at how big a fall there. Uh, like like 1,200 feet off the ground or something. I feel like I should have a disclaimer on this because like basically you should not do this even though I love it and I think it's so fun. <laughs> well, that's scary. I think one of the hardest things for me in this whole daisy soloing is the transitioning between free climbing to aid climbing to pulling on gear to clipping into bolts because it always is such a relief to clip into a bolt when you're doing some hard technical stuff and you're like, oh, so nice. And then you pull on the bolt and you like grab the next hole and then you stand up a little bit and then you have to unclip from that bolt and you're like, oh, bummer, you know, because all of a sudden you're back to free soloing again. And so it's that constant transitioning back and forth, you know, from now I'm safe, yeah, buddy. now I'm not safe, now I'm safe, now I'm not safe. You know, like that's like kind of mentally hard on you.